Facebook says it's preparing to roll out new parental controls designed to steer teens away from viewing harmful content. How effective will these new precautions really be? And how will parents be able to utilize them in the real world? Well, Tark is joining us now after speaking with a social media expert on this. Tark? Well, you know, it's important to point out that these new features aren't fully active on your child's Facebook account quite yet. But according to Facebook executives, parents will have optional controls that will enable them to see what their teenager is doing online. Facebook will also nudge your child to take a break from harmful content, something social media experts are skeptical if it will really work. It's just like cigarettes. Teenagers don't have good self-regulation. Facebook's new parental controls come on the heels of whistleblower Francis Hagen's testimony about the negative impacts the Facebook data scientist claims has on teenagers. The social media giant trying to reset this weekend announcing new parental controls are on the way. We're going to introduce new controls for adults of teens on an optional basis, obviously, so that adults can supervise what their teens are doing online. Secondly, we're going to introduce something which I think will make a considerable difference, which is where our systems see that a teenager, a teen, is looking at the same content over and over again, and it's content which may not be conducive to their well-being, we will nudge them to look at other content. In order for parents to put Facebook's new controls into place, they'll have to first know their child's username and password information. The social media giant, however, has yet to release any more specific details as to how the new features will be implemented. Social media expert Dewan Holmes is skeptical. And I just don't know that it's enough for a child to be able to uh, implement on his or her own. I mean, I think when we, it, it really goes back to parental controls and parental monitoring. I mean, we cannot, from my perspective, rely on social uh, media platforms to monitor our children. Holmes says it will be imperative for parents to fully understand how to navigate the app for the parental controls to really work. She has this advice for parents. My number one uh, recommendation is really have a candid conversation with your child after the candid conversation, you know, really explain to them um, what social media is and what it isn't, and then make sure they understand that you're going to be monitoring their use. I mean, monitoring is the number one thing that you can do. Facebook executives say that they've invested $13 billion over the past few years to make sure that their platform is safe. Now, Facebook also announced that they are now pausing the creation of what was called Instagram for Kids after public outcry and concern. Mary?